Alright, let's put this battery in. Brilliant, you've got it. I'll just run a quick diagnostic on it. Welcome back, bro. Oh, oh God. There's a Happen. problem with the automated clearance system. Somebody just interrupted the flow. So now what? Well, you could go and open the secondary coolant flow valves manually. I know it's dangerous there, but, well... I got it! Please come talk to me if you have questions. Alright, I'm coming up to talk to you, baby. We're gonna have ourselves a discussion real quick. What is this coolant thing? Is there something I should know about this coolant thing? Oh no, it's quite straightforward. The telescope is very heavy, and moving it generates a lot of heat. So do all of the electronics. Overheating could cause damage, so it shuts down automatically if the coolant fluid isn't flowing. And hot electronics generate instrument noise, which we want to eliminate as much as possible. What is this coolant anyway? Is it dangerous? We use liquid nitrogen. It's quite safe. If I can make it to the valves in one piece. Yes, there is that. Good luck. Right. Did you have this much trouble with my double? I'm assuming you didn't have this kind of trouble using the telescope earlier, when my double was here. No, it went very smoothly. Until he turned into a nutter. This doppelganger of yours doesn't seem to want anyone else to look at this phenomenon. Honestly, it seems a little pointless to me. There are many eyes on the sky. I'm not sure what we're gonna get once this thing is working again, but I have a hunch. I doubt it has anything to do with outer space, or that anyone else can see it. I think it's a message for me. For you? That seems unlikely. And even if it were a very localized phenomenon, surely it's visible to others in the area. Maybe. But I wouldn't bet on it. There's a reason he came here, and a reason he doesn't want me looking at it. Just remember, you need to release all three valves. It doesn't matter what order you do it in.
Shit! Shit! Freaking tired. God. Now, I still have no idea what I'm looking at, but it's very strange, very strange indeed. Oh, where are my manners? Please, come on up. I'm sorry, I was distracted. You were distracted? While I'm sitting here struggling for my life, you're distracted? Why don't you just open the thing so I can come in there with you? Make me want to kill a bitch. God. Receiving the signal now. Oh, yes, it's coming in loud and clear. It's amazing. I'm not sure what it is yet, let alone where it's coming from, but it's interacting with our system somehow, like it was intended for us. But I don't understand how that could be. 
Maybe that's just how the story goes. What? Never mind. Is there a way I can hear it? Or however this is supposed to work? I think the signal is incomplete somehow. But you should be getting a printout of it now. What do you mean it's incomplete? It's almost as if we're only getting a fragment of it. I need the whole thing. This is important. I'm sure it is, but this is all we're getting. Did the man who looks like me get the whole thing? He locked me out of the booth, so I have no way of knowing. But I can tell you that he didn't really seem to understand it. So, what's in the sky? It doesn't make any sense. The stars are just... they're wrong. I thought I'd be able to see something, but it's like I'm looking at a sky that's just... it's not the white sky. But that's impossible. I consider myself a rational man, Doctor. But this isn't a thing you can measure or explain. I I've seen impossible things that have taught me just to roll with some punches. It's either that, or go insane. I find it disturbing that you sound like you're speaking from ample experience. out of a signal. It too is a weapon created by the champion of light. In its words, stirs a new reality. But it is incomplete. And yet, it provides a road map for the man to follow. A course that will lead him to a place where he may confront his enemy. in theater, Arizona. The drive-in. Once the site of lurid celluloid fantasies, it's now the site of an art exhibition. And yet, it's the search for closure rather than culture that brings the champion of light here. Alright guys, that is the end of this episode. I love you guys so very much. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out YouTube.com forward slash The Virgin Rose. Twitch.tv forward slash The Virgin Rose. We love you guys. Scordala!